A multi-sig, like multi-sig for noobs. When, when should you, like what kind of money should you start thinking about multi-sig, if at all? Yeah, you're giving thumbs down. Give me I your think thoughts. if you live in a place where you're physically not secure, like if you, if you, like if your brothers, like regularly take money from you, <laughs> or like you're in a you're in an abusive relationship and you're trying to flee that relationship with your daughter or and your children, and that man regularly makes you unlock your bank accounts under threat of violence, right? I think multi sig is good in a situation like that. I think if you live in a place where you have to cross borders or through checkpoints regularly with this information, you know, I think if you live in a checkpoint city, if you got to go through checkpoints, then I think it's probably a good thing. Um, I think in almost all other situations, it's the worst idea. Like okay. so such a bad idea. I think like uh, as far as bad ideas come, I think multi-sig is like top five. <laughs> and like, I, have you ever seen people hit themselves with sledgehammers? <laughs> I'd say that's slightly less dangerous than multi-sig. <laughs> because when you use multi and let me say why. Because when you use multi-sig, if you screw it up in any way at all, ever, or you don't have a family plan in place for for your loved ones to be able to access that money later. You don't like have everything you've learned laid out for them. Well, then you probably would have been better off just hitting yourself with a sledgehammer because you still have, <laughs> you still would have had all your bitcoins. Your kids would have still got the bitcoins when you died. He, they would have said dad was a hero instead of saying, "Yeah, I remember that guy a little bit." <laughs> So like, you know, dad was the guy that made, he literally changed our lives with Bitcoin. Instead of, yeah, you remember that time dad lost all his Bitcoin? <laughs> right? And my dad <laughs> lost three Bitcoin I gave him. You know? Oh, God. What do you, what do you want me to say? These are real problems I'm talking. These aren't made up things. We've had to help three different, three different people after de unexpected deaths. And it has always been a mess. And I, let me just say this. Thank God there wasn't multi-sig. Because if there was any multi, and you know what, there might have been, there might be a bunch of shit that Spencer and I don't know about that these families will never have. But like, we for three, four months we worked with these people, going through personal belongings, hacking all the phones for them, unlocking all the accounts, dozens and dozens of these exchanges and wallets on the phones, having to hack into all these things because they all have pin codes to act. Just insanity. It's like cyber and this is the shit that like my buddies that work at the Navy that overthrow countries with cyber warfare are doing. And I'm doing it to help this lady get her Bitcoins after her husband died unexpectedly because everything they owned was in cryptocurrency and she has no cash. She cannot pay her rent. She can't feed her kids right now. Right. How sad is that? So, yeah, no, I don't like multi-sig. What I, like I would prefer people did. Is like the the wallet with a password. So like you can add a twenty fifth word to a twenty four word list, 